Hello and welcome to The Social Talks. I'm your host, Adrian Olivier. Our story is about the transfer of Russian strategic nuclear weapons to the territory of Belarus. On Sunday, May 28th, Belarus's leader since 1994, Alexander Lukashenko, a former director of a state farm, bizarrely announced nuclear weapons for everyone who joined the Union States of Belarus and Russia. This in relation to the transfer of Russian tactical nuclear weapons to the territory of Belarus. The Agreement on Establishment of the Union State of Belarus and Russia Treaty was signed in 1999 and formed a legal framework for a wide-ranging alliance that spanned economic, information, technology, agriculture and border security, among other things between the two countries. Last year, shortly after Russia's invasion of Ukraine began, a referendum was staged in Belarus that removed a constitutional prohibition that forbade the presence of nuclear warheads in Belarusian territory. Already in March, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that nuclear weapons would be placed in Belarus, saying that the United States has been doing this for decades. They have long deployed their tactical nuclear weapons on the territory of their allied countries. The 69-year-old, often disparagingly called Europe's last dictator, has had a number of unexplained absences in public life in the last month. Rumours have been swirling around his health, including that he was poisoned by Russian secret services. Such statements may reflect a declining Lukashenko, who said he is not planning to die, guys, while in Moscow for the annual Eurasian Economic Union Summit on May 24th to 25th. Belarus's opposition leader, Valery Tsepkalo, on Twitter wrote about the health of his country's president. He wrote, According to preliminary information, subject to further confirmation, Lukashenko was urgently transported to Moscow's Central Clinical Hospital after his closed-door meeting with Putin. Currently, he remains under medical care there, end quote. He added that a blood purification procedure is being conducted on the president. Later, Lukashenko announced that weapons were already in the process of being transferred. The move sparked con condemnations from the EU and US, with the US State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller calling it irresponsible behavior, though he said there were no current indications that Russia plans on using the weapons. Thank you for watching The Social Talks. Make sure to tune in for more informative videos. Thank you.